I hope you guys like this project. This is this is something that you I think you can leave it out for Halloween and fall. So we're gonna make some candy corn. Um, I'm just using paint cloth. I just tore a piece of paint cloth and put it underneath my transfer. And I'm using three different colors. So I'm just doing kind of strips right now because we're gonna tear them apart. So the first the first row I did was um, I used hay pumpkin. The second one I used rust. Now I just looked and we don't have rust. So you can use papaya. It's a darker orange, kind of like the rust. So you can use papaya. That is what I put in the in the basket. So I did put a cart link with the transfer and the colors um, for you. So you can find it in the description if you're interested. And then I took another piece of paint cloth that I just tore and I kind of drew a candy, what I think a candy corn would look like. Just the shape of a candy corn. And I don't know if you guys do this, but when I'm, I'm doing a shape like this that's symmetrical on both sides, I just fold it in half and then cut so, they're, so it's even. And I doubled it up because we're going to make stuffies out of these. So I made three different sizes. I made a 9-inch one, a 7-inch one, and a 5-inch one. And then once these were dry, I just tore them. And then I'm going to tear them some more to fit on my project. So I'm kind of just gauging how much I need and then and then I'm going to do three three different layers on here. Okay, so I know this is this is a mess right now. This video is a mess right now, but trust the process. Hang on. <laughs> I painted one whole strip with the rust, which you're gonna paint papaya, and then one whole strip with the hay pumpkin. And then one whole strip with a white because each candy corn is going to have the colors are going to be different um different in different orders so this one's gonna have the buffalo check on the bottom and the darker color in the middle and the white on the top and the next one's going to be different i think the buffalo checks in the middle and on the last one the buffalo checks on the top so I just glued them down on there and then turned it over and cut the cut it around the shape of my um, my candy corn. So the next one I did the uh, I I kept the colors the same. So on um, this one the bottom color is the hay pumpkin, and then so on all of them the colors are in the right order. It's just a different pattern. Well, the buffalo check is in a different place. I have confused myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I just got them all on there, cut them all out, and then I used my gator sander, and I just sanded around the edges of them. It makes it really frayed. It makes it really worn and old looking. I also just laid it down and did the front of it and just really kind of took some of the paint off and made it look old. You really got to get in there. So I won't make you watch all of it, but like, look at this one. I, I scrunched it all. I was getting in there. I was getting in there on that one. <laughs> and then I did the front of them. And then I glued them together. So I just used some hot glue and then I stuffed them and then glued them shut. So I did that to all three of them. And then once that was done, I made a bow. I used my bow dabra. A lot of you ask about the bow dabra. You can get them at craft stores. I think Joann's, Michael's, I think Hobby Lobby. I did get mine on Amazon. It is a must have. So I just made a little rag bow, different fabrics and coffee stain, tea towel. And I put a little, a little bit of raffia there on the top. And once you take it out, you just kind of tie it in a knot and fluff it up and cut it to make it um, even. And then I just glued it right to the big, the big candy corn. And then I put a twine bow on top of the rag bow. And then I just kind of put some patches uh, with buttons um, on the other two. And then I made a little tag just using a piece of paint cloth and the autumn tiered tray transfer. And it just says, give thanks. And when if you are using the transfers and you pull up slow, if you miss anything, you can put it back down and um, fix it. And I did wait for this to dry. But then I just tore it to till it was the size I wanted, glued it right to the bow, and then put a button on top of it. 
I think they came out really cute. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Make a comment. If you're not following me, please do so. And if you're interested in the transfer or the paste, I did put a link in the description.